Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys solar systems. So we've got one system from the user Gob in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending it this system in and without further ado let's hop straight into it. So here we are, subscribe, it should already be here. Uh, I think it's this one here, the uh, yeah the Irassian system. Hope I'm saying that right, yep here it is, cool. Right, let's see what they have got in store for us. So, here we go. Ooh, I like the colour trails. Right, so, welcome to the uh, Erisian system with its three main stars, Eris A, B, and C. Excellent. So, there's the C star. So, I guess we're heading over here first. Quite a nice system structure. So, you've got one, two, three. I quite like that. Right, so, Eris A, the main star of the whole system, having many planets in orbit with the star. Excellent. So, there we go. First planet, we got Warmer. A planet for... Oh, oh, wow. Ooh, smoky. So, a planet very close to its star, Iris A, being melted away by heat and will eventually the temperature will neutralise. Next up, we've got Lement. Another close proximity planet, but it's less hot than the one before. It has one moon named Lemon. Lemon is a yellow moon that represents a lemon. Cool. Got the two-tone atmosphere going on there as well. Very nice. Lemon... Pretty cool. Okay. Next up, we have got Rico Estonia over here. Ooh, interesting ring system. Look at that. Okay. Kind of bent and buckle. A nice hatable looking world as well. So, named after a famous god from the planet Arian. Arian. It has a very nice ring system and is believed to be hatable. It looks pretty good stat wise. So, a little peek in here. Let's see. 89 and 16.1. Very nice. Cool. Next up, we have got Tropica. A tropical moon with one moon as satellite from Arion in orbit. It's hatable with mainly marine life. So pretty ocean heavy. There's the satellite as well, you can see there. Small little orbit there. Then we've also got a moon called Tropican over here as well. Tropican. Then we've got Tropica. Cool. Very nice. Next up, we've got uh, Arian. Okay, so this is the one that we got the probes from. Here it is. This is a ha definitely Hatable World. There it is. City lights as well to go with it. This planet is the perfect planet due to its spot in the Hatable Zone as two moons that orbit the planet of a satellite studying its moon, Ajax. So there it is. So I'm guessing stats should be pretty good on this one. 89 and 14.3. There you go. Then the moons. So there's the first one there. Ajax. Got a satellite around it. We've got the other moon over here, Bojax. Cool. So there it is. Very nice. Uh, moving up to Nan, which is here. A further out planet with a nice set of rings. The Arian Exploration Cloth AEC orbits and studies the surface to see if there's life on it. For some reason, there is blue lights coming from the surface. There you go. Okay. And the probe around it. Very nice. Cool. Then we've got Metaphor next. Okay, over here. A planet with a weird ring system, most likely formed from the collision of two moons to about the same size. There it is. Goldia. Over here. First moon, we've got Blue Diamond. Blue King Geared. And lastly, Rita. Very nice. Okay, right, next up we're heading to Yera. During the formation of the system, a planet was shot into Yera, shattering the planet and turning the small position into an inner moon. The rest became a ring. Okay, so there is the ring and the moon. Okie dokie, looking good. Lots of rings, exotic rings in this system. I like it. Next up we got Prone. Now where is that? There it is. A, gash, a red gas giant with a multitude of moons, mostly bigger variety, but its biggest moons, Lanty, flies with the gravity of prone. It's trying to get the smallest moon locus to orbit it. Okay. Ah, okay. Ah, oh, they're all quite close together, these moons. Check that out. They're a very close bunch, aren't they? So that's trying to orbit. So this little moon may orbit this bigger moon eventually. They are pretty close. There's definitely be turmoil there in the long period of time, for sure. And there's the other moon. So pretty generic looking moons around all those. Cool. Next up, we've got a Utopian over here. 
Massive gas giant being studied by the Iranians to figure out how it is formed. The giant resembles Jupiter, but it's four times in mass. It has got some very close rings to it. Oh, wow, we. Okay. Moons. Got one there. And the second two over here. Very nice. There they are. That one's got a bit of an atmosphere going on by the looks of things. It does. And lastly, we got this one. Nina over here. Cool. Is that a liquid or is that. That's nah, surface colour. Okay. Cool. Next up, we've got Radia, which is this one here. The planet has an odd orbit around Erase A. Believed to be very radioactive, it's lonely with two asteroid moons. Quite a nice looking green, actually. I do quite like that. Very cool. Cool. Next up, we have got. Uh, Utopia. So we did Utopia, didn't we? So we're going over here to. Oh, uh, Erase. Yeah, Erase B. Second star in. Here it is. A star smaller than Eris A, but can still have a multitude of planets. So we first up, we've got Hottie. Oh, I quite like the way this looks. Ooh. Ooh, I do quite like that. A very volcanic and hot planet being volcanic all year round due to it being close to the star. So volcanic and hot star conditions at the same time. That's a pretty uh, pretty wild guy there. We've got Pera. A close proximity gas giant having green gas cover the surface. Has a surprisingly hatable moon name. Oh, surprisingly hatable moon named Ingenius. Igneous. There it is, looking good. Very nice. Sixty-seven and nine on the stats. Pretty cool. Got another moon here as well. Around very very green. We've got lint and ease. Cool. Like that. Uh, next up, we have got Ficken. A thick atmosphere planet that used to be hatable. Luckily, from a desert star light years away, the Trevilians came and rescued the intelligent beings off of Ficken before it met its demise. So a formerly good-looking world, probably. Good hatable world, but now reduced to nothingness. Cool. Two moons as well to boot. Two asteroids. Cool. Next up, we've got Takast. Takast? Takast? A decade later, after Ficken met its demise, a life started to flourish on the surface and oceans of this planet. There yeah. Nice. Stats 1933. I think that's the best stats out of them all so far. Cool. Looks good as well. So with, with, uh, with my Earth flight worlds, I never like to have too much green. I always like to blend some other colours in that. Like, he's done the white there as well. I usually blend a bit of that yellowy sand in there as well. Mix it up a bit. Give it a free tone. But um, yeah, still good nonetheless. That's the best looking hatable world I've seen in this system, I think, personally. Uh, next up, we have got Syria. Syria, yeah, Syria, however you want to call it. A blue and white striped gas giant with two unknown moons. Then we got Mana over here, the moon, and Neymar. Okay, cool. Then we got Nisian. Beautiful gas giant with rings that are satellite, mostly from its many moons colliding with each other. Cool. And that's everything around the B star. So now we're heading to the C star, which is the red dwarf by the looks of things. Okay. So. Array C. A very small star only having a couple planets orbiting it. So first up we've got PSO. Potent snake oil. Used to be a hassle planet before it burned up. It used to be famous for its good quality snake oil, some snake-like life back then. Interesting. So there it is. Everset. Hassle planet which lost its moon. So this is hassle as well. Stat-wise. Let's have a look. Where are we? 90. That's even better than that's even better stats than the other one. Look, that's over double life likelihood. Very cool. So Everset, best place to be in this whole system by the looks of it. So it's got two moons, but it lost its it lost its moon Issei a while back, and then Issei is the next planet now, which is here, which got pulled away by the last planet. So it's an all ocean world for the most part, bit of land actually. Okay, it's a hatable planet and a hatable moon, but the moon has been stripped away. So there's your moon. So that got shipped away by this planet here, Lacturn. Very blue, nice looking, nice giant. 
but is only Ice Gash giant part of the system, known for pulling Issei out of its orbit with Everset. So we've got Mole over here. Very dark red looking, and we've got Jean over here. And that does it for the system. Hope you enjoyed this freestyle system. Have a good one. Well, you too, good sir. Very nice. I enjoyed that. I quite like the orbits as well. But it's got like the one, you've got the second star orbiting the first one, you got the third star orbiting the second star. Like that, I bet you over a long period of time, the third star could get pulled to the first star when it's on the other side. Who knows? Could be interesting. But yeah, that all said and done. Hope you guys all enjoyed the system. If you did, make sure to press that like button. Subscribe for more as well. Help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. Here's the lineup of the system as well. Which sure object do you like the most? Very nice indeed. Again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Gob, for sending this system in. And yeah, that all said and done, everybody. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.